Police in an Illinois town are under fire after arresting this black hospital patient who decided to go for a walk um, while hooked up to an IV. The stunning moment was all captured on cell phone video by the patient's boyfriend and is now getting national attention. Shaquille Dukes says he came down with double pneumonia last month while on vacation and checked into a hospital in Freeport, Freeport Illinois. Uh, on the next day at the hospital, he was feeling better, asked doctors if he could go out and about for a walk. And as he walked through the hospital parking lot wearing his hospital gown and hooked up to this drip, uh, Duke says a security guard you see there confronted him, accusing him of trying to steal hospital equipment. The security guard called for police backup. Officers arrested him and his boyfriend and his brother. The three men were charged with disorderly conduct, obstructing and resisting a police officer. Dukes believes they were racially profiled by this white security guard and by police officers because of the color of their skin. And Shaquille Dukes is with me now, along with his boyfriend, Mark Wondrick Morrison, who recorded the video of the arrest. Gentlemen, thanks for being on with me. All right, thanks Thank for you. having us. Okay, where to begin? Shaquille, just first to you, health, health wise, are you feeling better? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm feeling okay. better. Okay. Um, all right. So I know I just ran through some of the highlights or low lights, but take me back. You're in the hospital. You're hooked up to this drip. You go outside for a walk. You are in your hospital gown and this security guard approaches you. What happens? Yes. Yeah, so, so as we were getting ready to go back into uh, the facility, um, as we're getting ready to walk back across the lot, um, the security guard, we see him driving up the street. And um, at that point he yells out, he's, Hey, what are you guys doing? So um, I sort of just stand there, like, you know, I hold my arm up and I'm like, the hospital door is right here. Well, I mean, we're going back inside. Uh, he's, well, um, I need you to guys come, I need you guys to come over here. Um, that's when he called us over to the car. And as we're approaching the car, um, that's when, you know, the sort of controversy ensues. He's, well, to me, it looks like you guys are still in this. I don't care if you're walking back or not. And that's when I told him, I said, <laughs> Jennifer is my nurse, uh, Dr. Mer well, I'm sorry, I'm just, <laughs> why would he think you're stealing hospital equipment when you are there in a hospital gown hooked up to an IV. Did he explain right. why that his, is, what his thinking? That, that has been the billion dollar question, Brooke. Yes. I have no idea. I mean, I could see if we were blocks away. I could see if uh, I was in regular clothes and carrying the pole, you know, in my arms. Uh, but neither of those are the case. I was in a hospital gown with no clothes and with medicine pumping into my vein. So I'm not sure how we could have seemed as if we were attempting to steal it or posed this threat uh, that, he speak of, that he speaks of. Mark Wondrick, you were this other set of eyes. What, what happened? Well, to me, I was just, I was shocked, you know, like, especially coming when he was like, you know, like, what are you guys trying to do, sell it on eBay? I'm like, well, you know, he's in a hospital gown with an IV. Medicine is still, you know, fluids are still running through his veins. So, I mean, how crazy could it be? Or how crazy could you think, you know? Like, I just want to know what was he thinking. I don't know, you know? It's just, it's really crazy to me. Let me make sure I get this in. So the hospitals declined to comment, citing patient confidentiality, cooperating, they're cooperating with the police investigation. Freeport Police investigating, they say, quote, to gather the facts, interview all parties involved, and determine whether officers conducted themselves in adherence to department policies and guidelines. Um, and just so I'm clear, I mean, cuffs were slapped on you with the IV drip, and then you had an asthma attack, is that correct? Uh, yes, actually I had an asthma attack and a seizure oh. according to paramedics while in transit. Uh, when they first arrested me and told me I was being charged with attempted theft, uh, they took my inhaler then in that moment. Then when I got into the back of the squad, I told him that I was there for pneumonia and asthma and then I needed a treatment. Uh, he asked the sergeant who told him no to transport me to the city jail. And while in transit, that's when I blacked out. When I came back to, um, I was having an asthma attack, but I was still in the back of the car. Um, at that point, uh, officers came out, uh, another patrolman, she came out and I told her, I said, I need my inhaler, I can't breathe. And she said, where is it? I said, one of the officers took it. And at that point, that's when he stepped forward and presented the inhaler. Um, at that point, the paramedics were arriving in the lot and that's when they removed me out of the car and transported me back to the jail. So again, they're investigating. Why do you think this is about the color of your skin? Uh, just, you know, that there, there's no other uh, clear indication of what this could be about. I mean, 
theft, uh, three black males attempting to steal hospital equipment. I mean, like, seriously, what, what else could this be? We pose no threat whatsoever. Had he simply even attempted to verify or, or send someone inside to double check our story, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. uh, but that wasn't the case. I truly feel that because of how we looked, uh, the situation spiraled into something uh, you know other than what it needed to be. Um, it was initiated by the security and, and later perpetuated by the police. And really, last question, because this happened, this wasn't yesterday, right? I mean, this was a couple of weeks ago. It's my understanding yeah, you waited. Was when was it? When was it? Yes, this happened June 9th. Right, so a couple weeks ago, you waited to post the video because why, and then are you all taking legal action? So uh, we waited because initially after, after the incident happened, I immediately went uh, and started having dialogue with the administration, with the city of Freeport, with the police department, and with FHN. Uh, mm -hmm. Initially, I'd given them a timeline of, and I told them, you know, seven days, I expect some sort of answer and then I'm going to go public and ask the world what they think about the incident. Um, mm -hmm. Throughout that entire process, uh, they've been doing nothing but blowing smoke. I've met with the mayor, with the city manager, with the chief of police, with the chief human resources officer at the hospital. What and do they they're say? they're all just, they're, they're, they're playing this game. We're, we're, we're investigating, we're looking into it. Uh, when I met with the hospital, um, they came and they told me, you know, in other words, the chief human resources officer, he said, Shaquille, he said, pretty much we wanted to give you this opportunity for this dialogue, but we really just want to figure out what are you proposing? What would look like victory to you in the situation? And what do I you told want? him, I said, Exactly. Uh, and I told him, this is, if, if you're insinuating, you know, there's some monetary uh, something that can make this go away, I said, you're ignorant. I said, mm -hmm. and with that, it's insulting, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm being handled, and I ended the meeting and left. Have you hired a lawyer? Uh, not, not as of yet, uh, because as I okay. mentioned, you know, that really wasn't what we were this seeking. We really wanted yeah. to truly see reform, you know, policy stood up around the situation, and that has not happened. And it's clear that it won't happen without some sort of outside oversight. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's stay in touch. I have a feeling a few Definitely people are watching. Book. And let's see where this goes. Absolutely. Shaquille and McQuandrick, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank Again, you, the hospital declining comment.